Hi, it's John with Citizen Survival Plan. Today, I want to do an update on one of my favorite projects that I ever did, my radio repeater box. So this is just an update of everything, how it's been running, and what went wrong with it. Um, so first of all, let me just recap what this is. This is a Midland MXR10, basically in a waterproof case. And on the outside, I have antenna connections to run an external antenna and a power inlet. So this thing can run indefinitely and be a GMRS radio repeater. If you want to see more on this, we have an entire video on how it was made and what we did to actually build it. But today is the update on what went wrong with it. So let me get into how we had this set up. This was set up with an antenna like this on my roof. So the antenna sits at about 40 feet above the ground. This box set outside since April in all the weather, the rain, the 100 degree heat we've had. I've had no issues with the battery. A lot of the comments I got about this and what would go wrong with it was my Life Po 4 battery with a battery management system. So basically, I ran a solar panel directly into the battery with no solar controller. And everyone kept saying that the battery would be fried. I got tons of comments like this. This is a 50 watt panel we're gonna switch to. It was hooked to a 100 watt panel. I had zero issues with the battery. It ran outside in the rain, the heat, the weather, everything. That 100 watt solar panel never fried the battery for months on end. This thing never turned off. And we used it too. Everyone, my family and I were all using it around town. So it got used, it ran everything. No issues with that. So all the people that commented that were wrong. Now, here's the issue that I had with it. When you ran the external antenna, and this is the problem with radio signals. When we ran this in, in this setup where you used it just as a suitcase repeater, what would happen is, and this is something to do with radio signals. Radio signals interrupt electronics. So a lot of times when I mess around with radios, I have like my 50 watt radio in here. I've actually fried a paper shredder accidentally because I turned my 50 watt radio on in my house near a piece of electronic, which was that little paper shredder. It actually cooked the paper shredder. I'm going to get to my point in one second. But RF radio signals are not good around circuitry, circuit boards, and other electronics. They can damage and interrupt them. Because that LifePo 4 battery has a battery management system on it, when this thing goes off, it actually would interrupt the battery management circuit board in the repeater. And it would shut the repeater off. And I would have to go in, and I could not figure out what was going on with it. I had to go in and plug in and unplug the repeater to get it to power back on because it kept shutting the battery off. Now, if you can see, the battery is wrapped in actually Faraday material now. I had my wife wrap it up like a present, real tight, in Faraday bags. So you can take a radio now and go all over it, direct signal, and it won't interfere with it. So that was the only issue you, we had with this repeater was the radio signal from the actual repeater and antenna was interfering with the battery. And that was simply solved by wrapping the battery up. Now, you can go get another battery, like a different brand of LifePo4 battery, other than I linked in the original video, but I don't know which ones would or wouldn't be affected by this. So that was the first improvement we did, was we had to wrap that battery up. The second thing is I am moving down to a 50 watt solar panel. <laughs> the 100 watt solar panel would charge up this 296 watt hour battery really quick. It was just overkill. I could probably actually get away with a 25 watt solar panel 
but I think the 50 is going to do pretty good. So this is how we have it set up now. So what I did was just run a coax cable into the house and I have it plugged into the wall through a battery tender. This is kind of for a motorcycle or you can use it for vehicles and stuff, but it works perfectly plugged into the side of this just to keep that battery topped off at all times. And I know what people are going to say also, this is for lead acid. It doesn't make any difference. This cuts off, I think, at 14.2 or 14.3 volts. The battery management system cuts it off at 14.5. So this is perfectly safe to use with LifePo4 batteries. It's been running inside my house, sitting on top of my fridge with the coax cable running out for the last couple days, and we've had no issues. So let's get into the range of this. This is a 10 watt radio. Once it goes through the duplexer and everything, you're probably going to get six or seven watts actually out of the antenna coming out of it. So with this being on the top of my house on a 40 foot antenna, way up high, I can say we get anywhere between five and 10 miles of range out of this. Let me explain that a little bit. We live in a valley. So my house is surrounded by mountains. So the whole valley is covered by the repeater. Anyone who can is within range can hit it and they can broadcast out throughout the whole valley. So we get the whole valley and then as you go up the edges of the mountains around where we live, the signal actually gets better because you're going up in elevation to reach the repeater. So there's a couple little dead spots within the valley, but it's nothing that I'm worried about. The range on this is excellent. I hope you guys enjoyed the update on this. This was one of my favorite projects. Again, I'll have the other video and the links all in the description on how to make this. This was one of my more favorite projects that I did. I love it. It can be set anywhere and used as a relay point for your radios. Again, mine's just set up at my house right now, but I can always unplug it and move it anywhere I want. That was the point of this box. Again, if you want to see exactly how this thing was made, I will leave a link to that video in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.